Okay, so this is our problem. We want to uh, show that only children have a higher average cholesterol level than the national average. That is our claim that we'd like to prove. Uh, it's known that the mean cholesterol level for all Americans is 190, so, uh, with a standard deviation of 15. This is our population information. Now notice we have a mean for the population and we have a standard deviation for the population. We test 100 children and find their mean cholesterol is 195. Now this is the kind of scenario where you should be using the Z test, not the T test. And it's for two reasons. First of all, we have a population standard deviation and we have a large sample size. When both of those are true, the Z test is appropriate. Uh, we want to conduct a hypothesis test and our significance level is 0 0.01. Now we have no raw data for this. All we have is the summarized data. But I'm going to show you how to calculate this in Minitab. So if we go to Minitab, again, no data, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics, and we're going to select one sample Z. We're going to go to our drop down box and we're going to select Summarize Data since we don't have the raw data. The sample size was stated to be 100. The sample mean was stated to be 195. The known, now notice it says right here, it's reminding you, the known standard deviation, this is not the standard deviation from the sample, this is the population standard deviation. This is our 15. We're going to perform a hypothesis test. The hypothesized mean is 190. And we're going to go to our options. The confidence level, if alpha is 0.01, the confidence level is 99, and we want to establish that the cholesterol levels are higher in only children. So that means we need, we need to select mean greater than. And then we're going to hit OK. And so here's our calculation. Here's our hypothesis test. The null hypothesis is the mean is equal to 190. The alternative is the mean is greater than 190. The Z value is 3.33, and the P value is very small. Now, if you look at my other videos where I did the same problem in Excel or the TI-84 calculator, you know that the P value is 0 .0004, which rounds to basically zero if you only take it to three decimal places. But regardless, this is a small P value, which is less than 0 .01, and therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis, and this provides um, support for the alternative. Remember, the p-value is essentially saying that the likelihood that we could obtain a sample like this um, under the assumption of the null hypothesis is very small. It is this p-value. And therefore, because this is an unlikely result if the null is true, we conclude that this is support for the claim that the null is false, the support for the claim that, in fact, cholesterol levels are indeed higher in only children.